Here we go. And this one's destined to be a human demolition derby. Into the tie-up. Who's going to get the upper hand? Batista making a move. Crushing impact. And here's Batista. And Batista's in charge. Oh, jeez. And he lands in a heap. He's enjoying this. Batista spent some time away from WWE. Remember after his vicious string of battles with John Cena, the animal took the microphone on Raw and said, that's it, I'm done. And he left. And Batista was not seen in WWE for four years. Then he returns in 2014 and wins the Royal Rumble. The animal picked up right where he left off. For the first time tonight, Batista is scaling the ropes. Uh-oh, what a huge move. Oh, man, is he fired up? Well, despite Batista being away from WWE action for four years, I don't think Batista's ability was ever in question. The Royal Rumble has been around for more than a quarter century. And sure, I haven't always enjoyed the way Batista's gone about his business. But you can't deny what him winning the Royal Rumble after such a hiatus says about him as an athlete. What a shot! Look at the intensity. Look at the stare on the animal's face. He's ready to bring it. Batista makes him pay for all that. Batista into the cover in an easy kick out. And you're watching the longest running weekly episodic television show in history. This is Monday Night Raw. Not this! That's it. He's done. You know, Michael, it seems hard to believe that John Cena has held the WWE Championship more than 10 times. What a win for Batista.